Hello everybody and welcome to Dane's Place. My name is Dane and today we're going to be doing an unboxing video review of the Santa Corporation's SMH10 motorcycle Bluetooth headset and intercom. This is the dual package, meaning that it contains two complete sets. I uh, decided to buy that one because it saves a little bit of money over buying the uh, two sets individually. I ordered this one from Revzilla.com. It was $2.99 plus free shipping. Not bad. <clears throat> I'm an avid motorcyclist, as is my girlfriend, and we wanted some sort of a communication headset, not only for convenience, but also safety. After doing a lot of reviews, I decided on this model based on what I had read. Amazon has tons of great reviews, as do other motorcycle sites online. This is the SMH10 2.0, meaning that it has a USB uh, charging cable for power as opposed to the older style charging cable. That's the only upgrade difference between the original and the 2.0. So we're going to start with removing this white slip cover. And I apologize for the quality of this video. I do not have a tripod, nor do I have anyone to film with me at the moment. So I decided I just didn't want to wait any longer. I'm going to do this one by hand with my camera, so it leaves me one-handed. I'm also suffering from a pretty good bit of allergies today, so if my voice sounds off, please bear with me. Okay, we open up the top of this relatively simple but attractive uh, black box. We're greeted with the instruction manual right here on top and cellophane. We'll remove that, set it aside. Okay, on the top, as you can see, are the actual mounts and the control units. On the left and right corners, those are the mounts. That's what actually connects to your helmet between the helmet shell and the lining. Underneath there you can see the speakers. Those are hardwired to, hardwired to the mount. You can also see the boom microphone that runs underneath your helmet to the front where the boom mic goes right in front of your mouth. And then in the center you can see the two control units. Those are what actually mount to, well they click in place attaching to the mounts. You can uh, put them on or take them off for charging. That's where you charge the unit. That's what controls the volume. That's what activates and deactivates the intercom calls and the phone calls. So I'm going to take this packet out for the moment, set it aside while we see what else comes with the unit. Inside there's a couple of small drawers. We'll lift those up. And inside we see a variety of uh, accessories and cables. There are cigarette lighter power adapters, USB cables, AC wall charging, units and some little accessory packs. Let's go ahead and pull these out and see what we've got. First of all, let's take out the cigarette lighter charging cables. You can see two of everything. I'm going to set those aside right over there. And uh, yeah, simple, not much to say about that. As you can see, if you can see, it has a micro USB charging port. These are the actual USB cables that would plug from the charging unit right there, the big one, to the device. Once again, we have a, don't know if you can see it, but we have a micro USB charger there. A couple of those. In addition to that, we have a stereo headset adapter so that if you have a phone or an MP3 device or any kind of device that doesn't have or support Bluetooth, you can hardwire that device to your communication headset with these stereo plug adapters. That's a nice addition. We have these small little accessory packs that contain some sticky Velcro in case you need extra reinforcements mounting the speakers inside your helmet. The speakers themselves come with a Velcro-like adhesion to them, which makes them mount very solidly in the helmet, but if you needed a little bit of extra, there's some extra sticky stuff. I see that this one also comes with an additional uh, mounting clamp inside. Not that you should need it, but it's nice to know it's there. Also comes with a spare windscreen that fits over the boom mic on your mic, as well as with a small Allen wrench, which is the only thing you need for the actual installation of the mounting unit. That side's empty, and over here we just have the charger. So let's take these out. These are the two charging units where your USB power cable actually plugs into. And then these are the AC adapters. So these adapters slide in place on here if you want to use it with the wall, and then your USB cable 
plugs in there. And if you were on the road and your motorcycle has a cigarette lighter power adapter like my girlfriend's does, you can uh, charge them on the road. Mine does not. My motorcycle does not have that. I wish it did. Okay, so the box is now empty. Let's set this out of the way and pull back over here our control units in the tray so I can show you what we get here. In the left and right corners, once again, as I said, those are the mounting units, microphones, and speakers. In the center are the control units. So let's take those out first. Let's pull one out here so you can see what we've got. Okay, so this is it. Small, handheld, uh, hand size unit here. Okay, this is the way that it would look if it were on the helmet. So I'll orient it this way. Well, let's see if I can find some good lighting. So this jog dial on top, this jog dial is uh, what controls the volume. So even if you have gloves on while you're riding, it's very easy to reach up and turn this dial. That jog dial also controls the intercom. So when you're riding and you want to make an intercom call, you would simply push the button and click. Push it once, you enable the always on intercom connection so you can talk freely. When one of the two of you are finished, you simply click the dial again and off it goes. On the back of the unit right here, if you can see that is a small button, that's the phone button. If you wish to place or receive a Bluetooth wireless hands-free call, you simply click that button, click, and the same to disconnect. You can also listen to music through an MP3 player wirelessly through uh, A2DP. And if you, while you're listening to your music, you get a phone call, or if you're on your intercom and you get a phone call, the phone call will override the intercom. And so it's a very nice unit. The volume is also individually controlled. So if you're listening to your music at a certain volume and you have to take a phone call and adjust the volume, it will remember the volume for each. So I'm going to set this one aside over here. Here's the other one. Sorry about the video quality. I'm in a room with fluorescent lighting and uh, with my phone. So there's the other control unit. On the bottom, you can see the connectors where it actually connects to the base plate. Okay, we'll set that aside. And then let's go ahead and actually pull one of these out. So here's the mount along with the boom microphone and connected to the speakers. Set those down. Okay. So, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see underneath here, but there's a small clamp. That's what helps connect this unit to the shell of the, uh, the, the helmet itself. This is what it would look like from the outside. Microphone runs underneath the helmet to the front where your mouth is. Okay. And then the control unit would, I can't do it one-handed, but it would click, it would sit in place very firmly right here. It would kind of lock into that little, there's a hole right there for it. And then it clicks in place very firmly. So it's a very well constructed, uh, very great quality. As you can see, it comes with the speakers that run inside the helmet. These are tied up. Two speakers here. This is what they look like. They're not terribly large. They're not terribly small. Uh, but I can tell you from firsthand experience, these speakers are amazing. Um, they have considerably better sound than you would ever expect from speakers this size. Um, they're not going to sound like a pair of, you know, $120 Bose headphones, of course, but uh, these are surprisingly good with surprisingly decent overall sound quality. And when I'm going uh, 75 or 80 miles an hour on the interstate, I have no problem hearing or communicating with my uh, partner when I'm riding or with making phone calls. Everybody tells me when we talk on the phone that they can't even tell that I'm on a motorcycle. They can hear no wind noise or nothing. They really are that amazing. Get about a half mile of distance, and my girlfriend and I, we hear each other crystal clear. Crystal clear. So I'm very impressed. So that's the unboxing video. That shows you what to expect. Maybe I'll do another video later when I have some help, and we'll show you what it looks like as you actually mount the device and once it's mounted. And, uh, okay, well, I hope that was helpful. I wish I would have had an unboxing video like this when I was shopping around for them. So I hope that if anybody stumbles across this, I've been able to answer some questions for you. All right, guys, take care. This was my unboxing review of the Santa Corporation's SMH10 motorcycle Bluetooth headset and intercom. I'm Dane. Thanks for checking in with Dane's Place. Have a great day. Bye.